now to an update a reward being offered for information about the deadly shooting of a mother and son in Northeast Miami Dade. It happened last week on Northeast 13th Avenue and 118th Street. Local 10's Terrell Fournay live in Northwest Miami Dade with an update on this. Terrell. And Louis, this double tragedy is a double dose of pain for this one family. The young woman that you're about to hear from says that she never thought that she would get this devastating phone call. And now she's doing everything that she can to help detectives bring her family some closure. My mom and him were so close. The bond between Alexander Garrido and his mother, Diana Ceballos, was unbreakable. Yeah, my mom's personality, you know, he was, he was sweet. He was, you know, this innocent mind. Mom and son were together last week Wednesday in Miami-Dade around midnight when they were ambushed by a gunman near Northeast 118th Street and 13th Avenue. The injuries were fatal. And today, Diana's daughter, who is also Alexander's sister, is now planning both of their funerals. It was unexpected. We're, we're so in shock, you know, it's I'm I'm I never would have thought my mom would pass this way, that my brother would pass this way. I did, that's why I want to know who did it. Valerie, who asked us not to show her face out of fear that the killer is still out there, went to the police department today to check up on the case and to retrieve her loved one's personal belongings. Valerie also has a younger sibling who is deep in mourning. I'm trying to to seem okay in front of my brother so that he knows he has me. We learned that the victim went to that location to meet a person that was inside of another vehicle. We believe that vehicle to be a Toyota SUV. After the shooting, that vehicle left the scene. Who would do something like this? I don't, I have no idea. That's why I'm on top of the police. Detectives have since hit the neighborhood to hunt for clues, but so far, those leads have fallen short. It was three people and a female at the scene that, you know, did the whole thing. This many bodies. I know someone knows. I know there is something out there to catch them all. And Valerie says her mother, Diana, was the type of person who would always put her children first in any situation. She worked hard as a hairdresser, sometimes uh, even taking house calls for clients who were uh, afraid because of health reasons and COVID-19 uh, to come to an actual shop. But Miami-Dade police and Crime Stoppers, that is the number to call to bring this uh, family some peace. 305-471-TIPS. Police say that they need help in solving this case. And there is also a GoFundMe set up to help lay this mother and son to rest. That information is on our website at local10.com. Reporting live from Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.